Hello to you, thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. If you are new, my name is Louise Pentland and I make videos about motherhood and lifestyle. If you're an oldie but goldie, come on in, <laughs> you know the school around here. This video uh, is gonna just be a stream of conscious. I've thought for a long time about how it would be best to format this or to create um, a, a well flowing arc of content for you but the truth of the matter is this is just so much heart and emotion that I don't actually know how to just meld that into content. Um, so we'll just have to go with no structure and just blah. Um, but sometimes I think that's nice because that's just the truth of it. And if you were sat chatting with a friend, you wouldn't on the drive over there think, how will I format this? You would just be like, I really want to say this thing. So something amazing has happened. Um, if you are new and you don't know, my mum very sadly died when I was seven. She was diagnosed with cancer in about 1990 and then she, and I was five, and then she died from the cancer in 1992. Sadly, medical science just wasn't what it is now and I often wonder if that had happened in these times would she have survived, but you can't think that too much because you just torture yourself thinking things like that. Um, but she died and I miss her every single day. And I've had a few people over the years, because I talk about it quite openly on here, um, say, maybe you should get some counselling, maybe you should work to get over this. And to them I would say, first of all, I've had counselling. I went to bereavement counselling when I was little. Um, but also I don't think that you ever get over the loss of someone so close to you and I don't actually want to get over this I don't want to get over and move on and thinking about my mum is so comforting to me I don't consider it grieving I don't feel like I'm in mourning I just feel like my mum is a part of my life just like anybody with a living mum would feel like their mum is part of their life like today is Mother's Day and I'm going to celebrate my mother because even though she's not here to receive a physical card from me and all that sort of stuff, she is still my mother and she does still deserve to be celebrated. So happy Mother's Day to any mums out there and mine. Um, you will know if you've watched a lot of videos where I've talked about mum, that one of my greatest sadnesses is that I don't remember her voice. So I remember so much about her, like, all of my memories of my mum are like little jewels that I treasure in a, in a little jewellery box and I'll keep close to my heart forever and I never stop thinking about them and I never let them go. We have photos, I have some of her jewellery, this ring, can't really see it against this dress, but this little ring was hers. Um, I have some of her bits and pieces, I have letters that she wrote to people, I've seen her handwriting. Um, so much of my mum is woven into our day-to-day -day lives. Like my children are named after her. Her name was Jane. They both have the middle name Jane. Um, and it's lovely, I love that. I feel very surrounded by her, very comforted by that. But one of the things that has broken my heart for all of these years is that I can't remember the sound of her voice. Just thinking about it <sighs> hurts because that's so long to go without hearing your mother. Anyway, I had just accepted that because what what can you do? I can't magic her voice up. And then lockdown happened, as we all bloody know. And my dad has been going through all of his old boxes and files and all sorts of things. You know the stuff that just gets buried away. And one of the things he found was these tapes. Now he sent the tapes off to get them made into like, you know, memory card or memory stick, something that's compatible with technology today. And on the tapes was so much home footage of my mum. So he rang me, this was probably maybe January or February time. Uh, he rang me and said, I found some footage of your mum. Now I don't have, or I do now, but I didn't have any moving footage of her. I just had photos. So I'd never seen her move apart from in my memories. Um, apart from one thing, which was a friend of mine's parents wedding video you can see a bit where mum walks past and i've like watched that so many times just to watch the way she moves to watch the angle of her face to watch the way she like just everything about it like i've studied that in like i've watched it a lot anyway i was so thrilled 
instantly thought oh my god I'm gonna see her moving I'm gonna see what clothes she's wearing I'm gonna see her interacting with people I'm gonna see her eyes moving and then I said can you hear her and he said yes you can hear her so all of a sudden I have this footage and I decided I knew that I would want to document this moment because this feels like such a special moment like I'm 35 she died when I was seven that's such a long time to not hear her that I wanted that memory documented <laughs> set in stone that I could keep forever um so I'm going to show you that but I will tell you I was an emotional wreck because it's not like I thought, I tell you what, I'll wait till I'm calmed down because I'm going to make this into a YouTube video. I wasn't thinking content, I was just thinking, Ugh. so apologies for how much of an absolute wreck I was. I'll show you it now and then I want to tell you a little bit about the footage afterwards. Now I feel like so emotional and I don't think I feel sad or maybe I feel excited, I don't know. Anyway, let's just click on it. So I thought... I want to film this moment and treasure it because it's like solidifying her a bit more. Anyway, right, let's just, let's do it. Okay. The title is 1986, Jane showing us round part of our old house. So here we go. So I would have been one at this point, there's my high chair. Oh, there's our table. I remember that table. There All she right. is. The downstairs cloakroom. Um, we've yet to put a few coat hooks up and things, but um, it's handy. Especially when I've got Louise potty trained, which I'm working on at the moment. And then we just, um, <laughs> over here, have more cupboard. Right. We're off upstairs now. I want to First like... of all, we're going to the third bedroom, which Steve is using as his study. This is so lovely. This is the view from this bedroom window. That's my dad. Isn't it funny how voices don't age? Like my dad's a very still... lovely place for the motorway here. <laughs> that still sounds like my dad. Oh, it's in a shot of the motorway. We did, we used to live very close to the motorway, we're very handily placed. Oh, that's right, this is our second bedroom. At the moment, Trevor and Barry are using it. Um, <laughs> Trevor and Barry, who are they? And this is the she shower room attached. She w I don't want to talk over it, she would have been 31 in this. She died when she was 37. Casual easy guess, this is Louise's room. All the pink and white hats. Louise's bath toys. It's like they're making a vlog. <laughs> My dad vlogging. Is he gonna do a wave in the mirror? No. Finally, into the main bedroom. Um, they're the curtains that we wanted, but the furnishing. Uh, are yet to be sorted out. The money ran out. What bit we've got left is we're saving it for the garden. So um, she loved her garden so much. Have some dark wood furnishings. And she loved dark wood furnishings. She loved everything All Victorian. All these little pictures though were uh, little silk cigarette cards of a hundred years ago. See, she uh, loved so antiques. Had the, the set made into pictures. Oh, what's this well, finished? that's about the end of our house. Oh. I hope someday soon you'll be able to come and see us in it. That's it. <sighs> well, I'm a mess. Apologies for being just so uh, in that. Um, that was just so lovely to hear her voice. I have watched that video now mm, quite a lot of times and... I've had some thoughts on it. The first one is, I thought that it would be like a Disney fairy tale that I would suddenly hear her voice and be like, oh, Mama, it's you. Um, but I didn't, I didn't recognize her voice. Obviously that's something that has just left my mind and it's not like 
you know so in that footage i could see a few things in the house that i was like oh yeah like i totally remember that that's come flooding back um and suddenly i had unlocked all the bits in my mind where i had remembered those her voice i don't think is locked anywhere in my mind i think and that's sad to me but the truth that is the truth and i think that it's really lovely hearing all the videos um but i expected it to come flooding back and it didn't however I don't mind because I've got all those videos which is lovely. Um, also, shortly after I watched that I thought, oh I'm going to share this and I'm going to put all the footage with it. Um, and then Dad sent more and more and more, I've got about five videos now with Mum on and I thought, oh I'll make that into a lovely montage and put it at the end of this video. I've decided not to and the reason is I haven't actually watched all of those videos yet because I don't want to rush them. Like. I want to savour them and take my time and also I have to be in like quite an emotionally stable mood to sit and watch them. Um, I haven't shown them to anybody yet, Darcy hasn't seen them, Pearl, she wouldn't know what she was watching anyway. Um, plus I really want to wait until I can show them to my family so I can put them on my laptop and put them in my garden when everyone can like come in gardens and all that. At the time of recording this we're in a pandemic and there's lots of restrictions on who you can see, who you can't see etc. So eventually I would really like to make a little montage of clips of my mum for you to see because I feel like for 10 years I've been talking about this amazing woman and I've shown you pictures and I've shown you like bits of her jewellery and told you about her um, but you'll actually get to see her as well and she'll be on my channel like my channel is a scrapbook of my life and it's always been missing her and now it's not going to be like just blows my mind <laughs> blows my mind it feels like such a gift to have found this footage and to hear her i don't know i don't know what it's like for you because i appreciate that you don't have this emotional connection but maybe if you've been following for a long time it's nice for you to um have this a little bit of this person that you've heard so much about um and i thought it'd be apt to share this on mother's day to celebrate my mum um I never get to celebrate my mum and now I feel like I've got something to celebrate and it's lovely um, and I wanted to share it with you because I know that so many of you are the oldie but goldies and just good eggs. I just wanted to share it with you. So um, yeah, keep your eyes peeled because I will, when the time is right, do something lovely of her if you like. <sighs> Alrighty, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I was actually thinking, well, is this a bit of a meh? like a nothingy video because I'm not showing you any footage of her but I think this is worthy this is just nice um and I'm glad to have recorded her voice and put it out there alrighty thank you so much for watching next video next week is Sunday at 9am won't be as emotional as this probably be a bit rubbish <laughs> alrighty lots of love to you bye